Well, I definitely think it takes two parents to create a child. So when you separate from that person, it becomes two different entities, two different worlds. And if you don't want to call it co-parenting, you can call it independent parenting that connects or, you know, but there's, there's defi definitely a level of co-existing. We just have to get to a point where you can honor your co-parent, the parent that doesn't live with you anymore but still exists so fully in your child's life because that dynamic is important if you want to raise a healthy human being. Swiss and Alicia's reaction when I told them that I was going to be writing a book about blending, they were all for it. They thought it was a great idea. We all believe that our journey is super empowering and uplifting, so we wanted to share that with other families. Um, I had been writing it for a while before I presented it to them, and the reason that I did was because I just knew it would be a much more powerful story if they were a part of it. So they loved it and um, Alicia agreed to write the forward, Swiss wrote the chapter, and now it's like one big voice. It's not just my voice, it's our voice. And uh, for Egypt, our trip to Egypt, we, we didn't just wake up and say, let's just go to Egypt out of nowhere. It took eight years of bonding and healing and communicating to get to a place where we were comfortable enough to vacation together and to be on this 10-day journey in a whole different continent and be okay. Like no side-eyeing, no attitudes, just positive, beautiful energy together. And it was, it was the vibe of like a healthy family. And our children were like, wow, in heaven because they're looking around, they're seeing all the people they love in one place. And I just don't understand, I struggle because I don't understand why our culture looks at that as if it's weird. But what's not weird is when we're arguing, when we're fighting, when we're at discord. That's more acceptable than seeing us in unity and at peace, and that's a problem. There is a relationship uh, with Alicia and myself. We, um, we definitely talk a lot about the kids, you know, our conversations vary from two to three times a week about schedules, pickups, holidays, whatever it may be. But outside of that, there's definitely like this sisterhood and, um, you know, little kiki moments about who I'm dating or, you know, outfits and, and you know, just art. We talk a lot about art and it's just beautiful, but it didn't happen overnight. You know, that that's a real relationship that took years and we're proud of it. Our kids don't find our relationship odd because it's all they know. You know, the one thing that we are most proud of is the fact that we never, not even once, expressed anything negative around our children. And it's allowed them to just be children. You know, these are happy children, and I'm not saying they're perfect, but the one thing they know is that they don't have to deal with any drama at home between the people that are raising them. My son thinks that I'm like a magician at this point. I told him years ago, you know, we used to go to Barnes and Nobles when he was really little, and I would say to him, I wanna be in this store. Mommy's gonna have a book in this store one day. And so for me to take him in there and actually see the book and my poster board, he was like, but it's so dope because he knows that he can do anything he wants to now. You know, it's just, it starts as a dream and you manifest and it, it can happen. So he has watched the blend journey happen. <laughs> I knew that blend would be my first book in Barnes and Nobles because it was my focus. I had been journaling everything that was happening in my life for about 10 years. So a year after my son was born, I started journaling about mother motherhood. Then I started journaling about separation. I started journaling about divorce. Then I started journaling about being an independent single mom. And I had all these journals everywhere and I just put them together. And this is what this book is. It's not a, it's not a researched book. It's really my real life. So I'm definitely working on workshops and hoping to travel the country with it, doing a lot of book signings and engagements, panel discussions. It's a universal topic, so the conversation could go on and on. And women, 
I get so many questions from women especially. Even a lot of men have been stepping up with questions. So I know that by writing this book, I've opened up this door that probably won't allow me to really sleep well for a couple years because I am constantly taking on, you know, other people's concerns and questions and I feel like it's a blessing to be able to guide people. So yeah, look for me in, at your local bookstore or whatever. <laughs> hey, it's Mashanda Tafrer and I'm here with my book, Blend. And I just wanna let you know that it is available at bookstores everywhere. It's available online. You can get the audio, get into it. It's something that we all need for ourselves and our children, our families. And it's really, uh, it's key, it's key to life.